Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I want to talk about a new feature in Google Calendar that allows you to do something very similar to another application you might know, Calendly, which is to allow people to book appointments into your calendar using a link that you share with them. Very, very handy feature, something that customers have been looking for for a, quite a while. So, if you want to know more, you want to see the feature in action, yes, I am going to do a demo. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm in my Google Calendar here uh, in my little demo account of Mr. Jones, and I'm going to create my appointment slots. Now, the first thing that I need to show you guys before we jump in here is how to actually turn this feature on. Okay, now I've turned it on on Tom Jones's calendar, but what you do is you go into general and you scroll down uh, to the end and into, uh, here we go, into appointment schedules. Now you might have heard appointment slots mentioned previously. This is actually an old feature that's going to be deprecated and replaced with appointment schedules. So it's slightly different um, because it gives more flexibility and this ability of someone to book um, an appointment into your Google Calendar without them actually having to have Google Calendar themselves. So you need to tick this little box that says create appointment schedule instead of appointment slots. And once you do that, um, you will now have this feature enabled. So I'm gonna select um, my Monday to, uh, sorry, my Monday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m and I'm going to select appointment schedule here instead of an event. So you can see there's focus time, out of office tasks, etc. I'm gonna call it appointment slots and I'm going to give it a name called uh, meeting. We could say sales meeting, sales call meeting. Um, and I'm gonna hit continue. And when I hit continue, I actually have the option now to add other days that I could be available for sales calls. So I'm gonna say Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. It's nine to five. Obviously appointments that are in there um, already, so I've got some appointments in my calendar, it will block those out. It won't allow people to book stuff in. Um, I can do a couple of different things here. I can decide the length of the appointment. So do I want it to be 15 minutes up to two hours? I can even customize it. For me, 30 minutes is fine. I'm setting my general availability. Maybe on Thursdays, uh, I go to the gym afterwards, so I'm gonna set that to four o'clock. Uh, I can set the schedule window, so here it says uh, the, uh, the time range basically of, of my uh, appointment slot, the start date or end date, maximum uh, time in advance that an appointment can be booked, so 60 days. Maybe I only wanted to be booked 30 days in advance. The minimum time before an appointment uh, start that it can be booked uh, is 12 hours here on, on this. So the, a minimum amount of time and a maximum amount of time. Uh, for me, probably 12 hours is quite a lot. I'd be happy with six, that's fine. Um, changing of dates availability. So that's just adjusting some of the availability. If there's some dates you want to uh, cut out, maybe you're on holidays. And then we've got some um, appointment settings. I quite like this one here where I can set a buffer time. So I might want to set a buffer time of say 15 minutes or 30 minutes between each, each of my appointments so that you don't end up with lots of appointments squeezed together and you're jumping from one call to the other, particularly for salespeople, um, that can be important. Important, And also the maximum number of bookings that someone can uh, book into my, or not someone, but you know, uh, uh, in total that, that can be booked into my calendar in a given day. So maybe I only want four sales calls in a day or six sales calls in a day. So I'm gonna go with 30 minutes between um, and I'm gonna go with a maximum of four a day and I've set my availability for the week. Okay, so now I'm gonna click next. The next one is um, I can change the overall name. I'm happy with my sales call here. I can also have my photo on my booking page. I can select a location if, if uh, I want. So if it's a physical location or in this case, probably a, a, a Google Meet video call. I can add a little description so I could have a set agenda if I wanted. So something like, um, introductions, uh, IT infrastructure I want to learn about, in infrastructure, I always have trouble with that word, structure, there we go, uh, and maybe some discovery questions. Okay, and then we could say uh, next steps. Okay, so I want that to be in each of my appointments that's being booked because this particular one is for sales calls. And then on the booking form, what information do I want? It's it's defaulted here to first name, surname and email address because obviously it needs that. But I could add some additional items here. So maybe I also want the person's phone number and I want that to be required. Maybe I also want to know uh, a custom item here I can put in and I want this to be uh, job title. 
And again, I can make that. I'll leave that one as optional, say. Okay, so so that's, I'm pretty happy with that. And down below here, I've got my email reminders and things like that. Uh, it, it says one, one day before. I'd also like to have an email reminder one hour before. And I'd like a reminder five minutes before. Okay, so that's the kind of default for this disappointment. And now I'm going to save that. Uh, and I can open up. It's opened up the, the first one here on Wednesday. I can go to the booking page. And this is what people are going to see in my diaries. Okay, and, and so we can see here. Uh, what it will look like for the end user and we can see the availability and um, pe you know people can book in so I could book in here at 11 o'clock it's already defaulted to put in my details so in this case I'll put in Finton um, Murphy and I'm going to put in my email address johnsoncloud.com phone number one two three four five six seven job title CEO and it's saying that that's optional and I'm going to book that in now and that is my first appointment booked and now if I go back to Tom Jones's email, we can see an appointment has been booked in here. <coughs> and obviously, uh, Tom has already said yes to it. And if I go and take a look at my calendar uh, and my email, which I also have saved, I will just open that up now. We will see an email in from Tom. Um, and that's booked into Finton's calendar now as well. Sales call 11 o'clock on Thursday the 14th. So that is the new Google feature for uh, booking appointments. I think this is going to be heavily used by a lot of customers. Uh, and I'm really, really excited uh, to see this out in the wild. Uh, this is launched, so you can start using this feature straight away. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. If you are not, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, you can follow us on there as well. As always, please like and subscribe and comment. We love to hear engagement from our viewers and customers. And I will see you guys next week.